Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morecambe Bay. If you look over there, we have Blackpool, and as you can see, the the tide is out. And we have a little bit of history that comes from <clears throat> Morecambe that probably a lot of you you will remember. Back in, um, hi Steve, hope you're well. We had to cancel Skegness today. I'll um, I'll speak to you later about it, uh, but we will be back. So yeah, Morecambe Bay in Lancashire. Yeah, Cockleshell Bay. So back on a, an evening in February in 2004, there were some um, Chinese cockle pickers out here in between Morecambe and Blackpool when the tide was out. There, there was uh, about 21 of them. They were illegal immigrants and they obviously didn't check. Hi Sharon, they obviously didn't check the tide properly and they all drowned to death. So it makes you think, you know, that was actually 18 years ago. And look where we are today with illegal immigration, which then takes me to our first hotel of the day. I thought that I'd just let you have a little look over. Hi the Roach, see you soon. Yeah, I thought I'd let you just have a little look over Morecambe Bay. If you're like me, good morning Christine. If you're like me, uh, you're probably used to just come into the, the Blackpool side in Lancashire and not over to the Morecambe side. So I have been I have been told that there was two migrant hotels here in Morecambe. I have had them on my list since I did visit Blackpool last. And I think one of these hotels there was footage put out yesterday. I think it might be this one here, but then we have uh, another one that is literally just down the road. It just feels like we're back in Skegness again with seafront hotels. Now there was people outside as we passed then, as we were heading to the other hotel first. And since she's gone inside, do you think do you think they're maybe watching Yorkshire Roads live on YouTube? So yeah, we'll just stand over here for a little bit, but that's the hotel, another one paid by you guys, another seafront hotel that is housing the migrants today good morning kim good morning everyone that's uh, tuning in today i've got quite a few locations to go to um how many four i think we've got four hotels and possible five good morning james and we will also be popping along um, to Blackpool to an event that starts at one o'clock. But I wasn't, uh, I didn't realise how far Markham showed from Blackpool by the road. I was just thinking of, I think, getting over the sands from Blackpool. So, yeah, we were aiming to be in, um, in the centre of Blackpool for 12.30. I think it'll be more like uh, one o'clock now. Right, well, will we'll you do that then and, and, and um, you stay over here so they don't realise? I mean, they've probably seen us already yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and us two will walk yeah. over, yeah? yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go straight in there okay. and, and um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
I still not open to the general public? Why? Hi. Hello. Oh, are you are you not hope are you not open? No. No, no, we don't. Sorry, not registered. Not registered. Not open to the public. Oh, cool. We're just not. There's no beer then. <laughs> The sound sheet, because we've got a sound sheet doing the whole thing. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you saw my camera then, the, um, the coloured dark guy, didn't you? Yeah, without... How good is that, guys? With, without a camera, there was... Um, Lou, who, who was in there explaining, was actually in there then. Um, there was security work that there were. Um, he did actually notice my um, microphone and he looked at me and when they were asked, you know, why we couldn't um, stay there, he did actually say that there was a silent speakers in. But there was, there was security in there as well. But obviously they didn't realized that I'd, I'd uh, got my camera on me so yeah that was we wanted a quick one there guys so we could move on to the next hotel and then get into Blackpool and yeah I think my wireless uh, microphone is uh, working don't you guys and yeah well done to my um, new partner in crime too um, so yeah um, Active's gone to football with his lad I think Grimsby Town are playing so yeah Hopefully he will be out with us later this week. Thank you, Steve. It's just um, a cheap wireless microphone. But yeah, I'm glad to hear it works because I had a few problems with it at first. I, I wasn't pressing the button right to, to switch it on. So, right, off we go. A couple of minutes to the next hotel and I'll be live again. Please like and share this and subscribe to my channel. Good afternoon from Yorkshire Rose.